But we are going to see how to use Mprobe IPS to create a Layer 7 Traffic Policer. This Layer 7 Traffic Policer is basically created with the combination of a Linux bridge and our new Mprobe IPS. With a Linux bridge, we create a bump in the wire between the clients connected to an interface and the router connected to another interface. And then, on top of this Linux bridge, we attach our Mprobe IPS to enforce Layer 7 traffic policies such as Block Facebook, Drop YouTube, and so on. So, our Linux bridge is created on this machine, specifically is created on these two interfaces, ENP. 2S0F0. So this interface is connected to the clients that need to be policed. So it's basically the LAN. And this other interface is connected to the router that is going to handle the traffic of the clients. So the idea here is to create a Linux bridge between those two interfaces and to put Mprobe IPS on top of this Linux bridge so that only the packets that are allowed by the layer 7 traffic policies are entitled to traverse the bridge and to go through, through the bridge. All the other packets need to be blocked. Let's see how to configure this bridge, first of all. To configure this bridge, we can create a simple bash script like this one. Here, as we've said, we have the LAN interface that is called enp 2 s 0 the one interface and the name of a bridge. Then, this is pretty important, this parameter. This is called the netfilter queue number zero. Netfilter queue is basically a queue of packets that is used by the kernel to send packets to user space to and probe IPS. So basically via NFQ, the kernel and nprobe communicates together. The kernel send packets to Mprobe via NFQ. Mprobe analyzes those packets, applies the configured layer 7 rules, such as this is a Facebook packet, I want to drop it. And then it emits a verdict, pass or drop, that can be used then to block the packet, to drop the packet, or to let the packet go through the bridge. So, let's see how this script works. It's pretty easy. Now it's just a setup. In this section, we create the Linux bridge. So, we create, we use IPLink to add an interface of type bridge. And then, we set our LAN interface and our one interface to the bridge. That's pretty much all. Now that the bridge is set up, we need to create a couple of IP table rules to make sure that packets entering the system either on the LAN or the WAN are not bridged directly by the kernel but are before being bridged are sent to Nprobe for the for the decision for the layer 7 traffic policy decision so this is just some boilerplate to reset and clean IP tables and IP table rules 
The only two lines that are very relevant for the IP tables configuration are those two ones. So here we are basically telling IP tables, hey, all the packets that are received on the LAN need to be sent to an FQ on the queue number zero. We have configured the zero above. And the same on the WAN. All the packets that are entering the WAN need to be sent to NFQ on the queue number zero. So that's pretty much everything that is needed to configure the bridge and the IP table routes. What we can do now is to just run dot slash bridge config as a root. All right, so now our bridge is created and our IP tables have the necessary rules to deliver packets to and pro. We can check if config and beer zero. So this is our bridge. So now the traffic is bridged. Let's check using a client connected to ENP2 as zero zero what happens. So this is a client. I can do pinggoogle.com and the traffic is bridged. I can do curl facebook.com and everything works and the traffic is breached and the traffic is able to reach the router to the internet and the responses are able to reach back the client. So now let's see how we can configure and probe to enforce some layer 7 traffic policies. Well, mProbe needs a, a configuration file in its IPS mode where we create pools, pools are basically lists of networks or uh, MAC addresses. And then we create the policy decision. Policy decision, policy definitions are associated to pools. This is a very, very simple policy where we have a default marker of pass, so all the traffic is entitled to pass the bridge, except for Facebook. Facebook says drop. So basically, according to this policy, all the hosts falling in one of those three ranges will receive this policy this layer 7 policy. This policy will this policy tells and probe to drop Facebook traffic and to let any other traffic go through the bridge. So now we can start and probe using our configuration file. So we tell hey and probe start in IPS mode and this is the rules file and you will receive bridge packets on the net filter queue number zero so zero here is the same number zero that we see in the IP table rules so this net filter queue number is basically the glue between the kernel and mpro. Now we can start our mpro in IPS mode. Everything has started correctly, rules have been read. Let's see what happened now if we go back to our client and we try to visit Facebook now. If we try to visit Facebook now, this time we see that the curl hangs in Facebook is no longer reachable because our end probe now is working in line and is telling the kernel A hey, these Facebook pockets that need to be dropped you you kernel are not entitled to breach those pockets because those are Facebook pockets. Let's see as soon as I stop this guy, I can restart 
this curl.facebook and the curl works flawlessly and immediately because now the traffic is breached without and probe that is acting as a layer 7 traffic poiser. So that's pretty much all. We have created a very simple rule. Keep in mind that rules can be much more complicated, more complex. You can create rules on the basis of layer 7 application categories as well. You can use the NDPI risks, you can create policies on the countries that say you don't want hosts to go to China or to whatever. You can create policies on the basis of the autonomous systems and so on. So very, very rich policies. Then it's also worth mentioning that in probe it's not only a binary pass or drop, but you can assign the markers to the packets. With the markers you can create policies that are not merely pass or drop but also you can create shapers, you can create filters, you can create routing policies and it's also important to note that in combination with contract you can using marker you can also create the, you can also offload traffic packets to the kernel. So basically, once NProbe has assigned a particular marker to a flow packet, you can tell the kernel, hey, just keep those other packets into the kernel, all those other flow packets into the kernel. Do not send them to NProbe because a verdict has already been emitted. The decision has already been done for, for this flow. So just bridge or drop all those packets without sending them to user space via NFQ. And this is very, very beneficial for the performance because you can actually offload the vast majority of the traffic to the kernel. So thank you.